This is the second major arrest of a drug leader operating in the north of Mexico in a little more than a month. And it shows that the government is targeting these gangs operating in this very valuable smuggling corridor that leads into the United States. Despite that fact, we're not seeing uh, the power of these gangs necessarily uh, decrease by any measure. We've been in the north of the country recently reporting in Tamaulipas in the city of Reynosa, not far from where Mario Ramirez was arrested. And what we've seen there is a city in which drug gangs rule and not the police. People are afraid to go out on the streets. Bloggers are the only one able to report this as they're masked in anonymity. We're also seeing drug violence sweeping still across the country. For instance, in the western state of Michoacan, there's an open battle between a powerful cartel there, the Knights Templar, community police groups, and the military that is trying to push out these cartels operating there. But so far, they've had little success, and they've disarmed some of these community groups who are now threatening to have open revolt across the state unless they can be secure that their communities are safe from these drug gangs that are pressuring them for protection money and extorting them.